Hi, welcome to the Thursday video blog. Uh, this is now almost the end of the second week in which we've been doing this, trying to keep you up to date with the uh, action that's being taken by the new Buckinghamshire Council to support residents and businesses across the county of Buckinghamshire. Um, what we've got today is a guest appearance by Adam Townsend, who's going to be talking to you about the work that the Food Bank in Aylesbury, uh, it's called Vineyard, is going to be doing on behalf of uh, the residents, particularly some of those who are struggling. Um, in the county. Uh, but just to say a couple of words up front before we introduce Adam. Uh, I was out yesterday afternoon in my high-vis jacket delivering food parcels uh, for some of the residents in my own area. I have to say that was a really rewarding thing to do. One of the things that confuses people is the various initiatives around this that are actually out there. Uh, just to help you understand what's going on, the government have identified about one and a half million people that they regard as particularly vulnerable due to medical circumstances. So this is a list from the National Health Service uh, and we are, they are delivering food boxes directly uh, to each of those. But that hasn't fully worked out yet. So there's still some gaps in that. It started, but it hasn't fully rolled out. So in the meantime, lots of local authorities, such as the new Buckinghamshire Council, are filling that gap. So we have some emergency food parcels, which we're delivering out. Uh, and that's actually working quite well at the moment. Uh, and also we've got the food banks uh, such as Adams is, which is actually out there as well. And they're providing emergency food support to those that are in most desperate need. So one thing I'd like to encourage you to do is if you know of somebody locally, or maybe it's yourself, that has a particular need that's not currently being met, please contact obviously via the local groups um, or on our website. Uh, and if you're running a local community group that actually can provide support locally, again, our community hub on the new Buckinghamshire Council website is the, the place uh, to register the fact that you're doing this and we'll put the need in touch with those who are actually providing things in the local community. So we're trying to add value, not become, if you like, a sort of bureaucracy that's running everything. So that's sort of a quick update on what's going on. Now, having said that, the real expert on all of this is Adam and I'd like to just hand over now to Adam to tell you about the work that his food bank is doing. Adam, over to you. Hi, so yes, I'm Adam Townsend from Ellsbury Vineyard Storehouse Food Bank, uh, and we're incur currently doing what we've always done, just in a slightly larger way. Uh, we're providing emergency food parcels free of charge to those in crisis situations and financial hardship. Uh, our basic aim is just to provide essentials to help with the immediate need. Uh, as you can imagine, the last two weeks have been a bit hectic. Uh, our whole system has had to adapt overnight to the COVID-19 situation as I'm sure a lot of other organisations have experienced. We deal daily with referrals from GPs, schools, housing associations and lots of social workers from all different departments from within Buckinghamshire Council who are referring their clients for food. Some of these referrals are collected and others delivered by our amazing team of volunteers. At the beginning of the current crisis, we had a two week period where we took and collected virtually no food donations. And I was really struggling to see how we were going to survive beyond two to three weeks. We were unfortunately under the same restrictions as everyone else when it came to shopping. So getting hold of the usual 50 to 60 cartons of milk we use every week was virtually impossible. Then came an amazing time when everyone pulled together uh, and pulled together by the local council. So we had the supermarkets, food banks, different departments within the council and local agencies. And within days we were using and helping each other to support our communities. We've had many local businesses that unfortunately have had to close, but a few of them have been in a position to kindly donate food to us. Some of this has been used to make frozen ready meals ready to give out when needed. Uh, and ironically, made by the same chefs who have had to close their business. We've been blessed with a large amount of fresh food that has been greatly received and redistributed. We're still short of dry goods and there are two ways in which you can help the food banks. Firstly, by donating a few items every time you go shopping and placing them in the collection bins at the main supermarkets and or secondly, by making a financial donation via their website so that we continue their work within the community. I'd like to take this opportunity to really thank all those individuals and businesses that have supported us in the past and during this crisis. You've really made a difference. Thank you. Adam, thanks very much indeed. That was really useful and hopefully gave everyone a good insight into the work that the food banks are doing. And can I just again reiterate what I said at the beginning? 
Um, if you can provide support in a local area, maybe you've got a local road group go doing, um, or perhaps a uh, parish or town council group has organised, uh, let us know. Make sure you're registered on the Buckinghamshire Council website so we can put people in need of support in touch with you. And that would be great. So thanks very much indeed. That's the Thursday blog over and see you all again tomorrow.